measuring distances accurately. As distances vary so greatly from the very small to the very large, choosing the most appropriate measuring instrument is important. The standard measuring instruments for distance are the tape measure, meter ruler, 30 centimeter ruler, vernier calipers and micrometers. The precision of each piece of equipment varies and so this must also be taken into account. The smallest division on the tape measure is 2 mm. The smallest division on the meter rulers is 1 mm. The smallest division on a micrometer is 1 one hundredth of a millimetre. It is also important to consider the material your measuring instrument is made of. An etched steel ruler, for example, should be more accurate than a wooden or plastic ruler as the etching process allows for thinner and more accurate lines to be marked out. The general quality of your measuring instrument should also be considered. There are two main types of ruler in use today. One starts at zero and one has a small gap between the end of the ruler and the zero mark. Measuring with the instrument on the right would be more accurate than the one on the left because the zero is a true zero. With the ruler on the left, some of the first centimetre may have been worn away, thus causing errors in the reading obtained. If no other ruler is available, the damaged ruler can still be used but distances are measured as the difference between two values. This technique can be applied when attempting to determine the resistance of a wire. In this case, attaching the wire to the ruler means that measuring from zero cannot be completed. To get a value for 10 centimetres, one connector is instead placed at 10 centimetres and the other at 20 centimetres. A more accurate reading can be obtained in this experiment by using a pin or screwdriver blade instead of a crocodile clip. For measuring very small distances, either a micrometer or vernier calipers may be used. To measure the thickness of a sheet of paper, even the micrometer does not give an accurate reading. To minimise errors here, a mean average thickness is calculated. To do this, measure the thickness of a known number of sheets of paper, for example 50. Measure the thickness of these and divide through to get mean average thickness of one sheet.